sound is on. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Trainer Talk. Hi, <laughs> Gail. Are you going to fix this food, too? So, let me start with the puppies. Hi. We're trying to get all of them out and about as much as we can. So, we're taking them um, when it's cool enough and it's not raining uh, into traffic. Well, not into traffic. Just, you know, along the streets. Um, usually, like downtown tops fields um, or like along route one next to tractor supply or something um, just want them to get used to hearing cars and trucks air brakes all that jazz hi hi daddy J. um off, off. um we're also taking them into uh, right now just dog friendly stores um, like uh, Tractor Supply, like I said, the co-op, um, and O'Reilly Auto Parts, which I don't know if the chain itself is dog friendly, but the one by us is they really like, um, especially this age when they actually get to pat the dogs. Um, so um, when they're under a certain age, um, we don't want the dogs to learn that there's a fear of other people. Um, so at this age, we do let people touch the dogs when we're out and about. The dogs are just on a leash. They're not vested yet. Off. 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 Ah, ah, ah. Excuse you, Derbalicious. Thank you. Um, yeah, so people really like it when we take the dogs out right now because they get to pet these really cute, almost four-month-old puppies. Excuse you, Jetty Jet. She may be tiny, but she is feisty. Um, yeah, so we're working on all the basic... You look like a shark. Uh, all the basic uh, manners and leash walking skills. Right. So they're doing pretty well with that, um, just walking on a leash, so... Um, now it's getting them to walk on the left side of us mostly, because um, that's where we do most of the training for these dogs. Hi. Um, we're also starting to teach them downstays. Um, so that, we don't make them stay in a down for too long. It's just like a second, and then we're like, okay, good job, you can get up now. <laughs> Um, and then they slowly build up to longer down stays. Um, hi. Hi. You are a very nice girl, Jetty Jet. Ah, ah, ah. Thank you. No, we try to bite the watch. Yeah. Um, and then as for the older kids, um, hey. Ah. You being a goof. Um, for the older kids, we are um, just trying to get them closer to being ready to be uh, official service dogs. So Crusher went on that awesome outing um, to Washington D.C. for the um, service dog veterans conference thing, um, and he rocked it. So he is probably one of the next to go. Um, and <laughs> um, I just took Jack today and he did really well, which is great. Um, we had almost given up hope on him, um, but he's starting to turn around. So it would be good if he can uh, get some focus back. Alfredo. Hi, Winnipeg. I know. I miss Winnipeg. I give them all nicknames. Most of them are usually stupid. I know. They're silly. Yes. Silly nicknames. Right? Winnipeg. And then Alfred, Alfred is Alfredo, or sometimes Fettuccine Alfredo. Right. My Fettuccine. My Fettuccine. Um, other adults. Um, some of them, they're great at everything except traffic or except stairs or whatever. So they each have 
the individual things that they need to work on and get through before we can graduate them. Hi. You're very nice. Uh, Deanna is officially um, in a home, so that's exciting. So Deanna and Sandy have uh, left us to become perfect pets. Ah, and they are perfect. Hi, what are you doing? I know, you, you are a big lap sitter. I know. I know. You are such a nice little girl. Um, so the plan for the puppies is uh, for right now they get to stay in 4, 4, and 4, but soon they're going to outgrow that. Um, this big puppy room is perfectly fine for four puppies for a while, but the other kennels, they're starting to get a little too big for a small kennel like that. So, um, some of them will be moving to the barn soon. We just need to prep that area. Hi. Oh, we're such good puppies. We are. We are good kiddos that like to bite watches. I know, it's cheating because it's not biting a person, it's biting a watch. Right? I see ya. I see ya. <laughs> I love you. Um, what else? Just having these 12 or 11 pups, depending on whether who's here or not. Um, it is very nice. If, even if you're having a bad day, you come in here and you get to get some unconditional loving from these kids. Yes. Thank you for the kisses. You're a very nice girl, Winnipeg. My wee, wee. Um, lately, some days are uh, better than others. But these puppies just make it all worth it, right? Because we know they're going to change somebody's lives one day. Yeah. You going you gonna to help someone walk again when you're older? You're going to help someone walk. Alright, I'm going to check explore if there's any questions, comments, concerns. You need to know better. Alright, there is not. Eight. All right, fine, fine, fine. 